Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again. I want to thank you all for watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. And it really does mean a lot actually because I started this thing, well, YouTube off a of whim. Like, you know what? I said, I just want to show people like what the daily life of a sailor is like and just, it's like more of a release, you know? Not so um, to get famous or anything like that. It's just to be normal, show that it's more to the military than just like us working every day. But we have a life outside of work and have hobbies and have dreams and goals and all that stuff, right? But today, nonetheless, is actually my six month review of my Ram 1500 2021 Bitcoin edition, Bitcoin night edition, actually. But um, let's get into it. So to start this video off, I've had it approximately, say like six months now. Six months or seven months. But anyway, we'll go with six months, right? <laughs> but I really have enjoyed it, have no problems out of it. I do kind of miss my previous truck, my F-150. I had a 2017 Ford F-150 Super Crew, a four x four panoramic sunroof, navigation. I had everything. I freaking love that truck. But the issues were the uh, engine, the EcoBoost, 3.5 was bad. I think I got a lemon or something like that because it was more in the shop than it was with me for like the last, it's like six months I had it, it was at least in the shop maybe like four or five months. And I had loaners literally for like months at a time. But moving forward, it is a true windy day in Florida. Um, I've done a couple of mods to it so far. The, one of the mods I've done was I, Tinted the headlights, the tail lights, and also the reflector lights was on the actual um, what is that? mirrors here. <laughs> I tinted all those lights. Uh, I got the, well, not number two, but not in a specific order. I got the WeatherTech full liners. I did that for the front and rear seats um, because I just don't like my carpet being messed up. I've also got the Gold GB. Um, it's kind of like a little interior lighting type thing. I'll insert a video um, to it after this tonight so you can see what it looked like actually. As I just stated, the lights I use are the Kobe lights. They do change colors, but because I'm going with a red theme, this is how the back look. You know, it's not too bright. And the front, this is how the front carries over. Passenger side driver's side another mod idea was the pro comp two inch leveling kit because i just don't like the rake look of a truck normally our truck is, is like rake with the front down and the back up so i want to get as level as possible so i have a pro comp two inch leveling kit i got that done here in jacksonville also next favorite mod i did do was i did the plastic dip red for the emblems on the truck I have the ram plastic dip on each door panel. I have the actual ram at the back of the truck plastic dip. And also I plastic dip the A directly in front of the truck where it says ram. I'm gonna put a picture somewhere here. But yeah, I think it gives it a different aesthetic. It looks different too though. You know, it's kind of like badass, I personally think. The last one I did recently was the resonator delete, which I have that on my YouTube channel as well well the morning after sound but yeah i did that because it is a hemi i want to get that deeper growl sound you know even though i haven't did an extra muffler delete yet or i don't have a kit for it yet which i'm gonna get eventually <laughs> it's in progress i just want to just do something i give that growl that deeper sound you know which it definitely does sound like that in the morning or even i'm just driving which i really do like so far now i'm going over the interior side of the truck the fabric has held up like stupendously like i don't really sit here ever i think i'm gonna sit in the passenger side maybe once or twice maybe once or twice but it's my daily driver and for the most part you know that's my uh chair right there over there at the driver's seat 
I recently went to the beach with my family, but the sand would not like really just didn't want to come up off the freaking floor mats and like I'm gonna have to scrub them out. In my personal opinion, I do think Ram does present one of the best uh, interior qualities for a truck. I mean, yeah, I do think that some things could be better, but at the end of the day, like it's a truck. Speaking of my family, we were all in here packed. I mean, not packed, but like five deep and it was more than enough room. We we're all adults. It was more than enough room for all of us in here. And we all had our phones charged up and good thing because like all our phones were dying after the beach and you have all the USBs, USCs, everything was in here pretty much like fully being used even up there. But I would definitely say this is by far one of the best I think investments I've ever did so far, besides my stocks, of course. The next mod that I actually want to do for the truck is to get rims and tires, wheels and tires, I would say. I've been looking, but I'm not really in a rush because I'm soon gonna deploy. And I don't think the point of like, what's rushing it right now. And then I really don't enjoy it. It just sits up for the moment. So better to save that money and then use it let it down the road or for something else hopefully but all in all i will say this truck is really um it's like my new baby i will say for sure because even though it's florida it does get chilly here some mornings i will say one best feature which i will say my f-150 did not have that this truck does have is the heated <laughs> steering wheel which i would definitely say like it comes in clutch some mornings even on base when I'm leaving early on the weekends and it's quite chilly or just like, you know, it's just that, that morning frost type feel, it definitely comes in clutch for sure. Going over some features that I have yet to use in this truck, which is really, I just don't have a need for them at the moment, would be the home, oh, sorry about the, sorry about the guys, would be the home garage opener right here type thing, this. And also the, parking and rear brake assist as well as the trailer tow brake i just haven't towed the trailer yet um i just don't have a need for it and plus when i back up i look where i'm going i don't really need parking brakes too so going over the actual miles on the truck itself there's approximately 7052 miles on it the average miles now the average miles per gallon is 15.4 when i first got it it was maybe i was even getting like 14.5 but i guess once things break in and stuff being used already it does make a difference i have also did the first oil change which my next oil change is into either 10,000 miles or august 3rd which will come first but it wasn't that much i think i paid maybe 60 dollars for it but uh, the people there are super nice at Jacksonville, um, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, you know, really good place. At first, it wasn't my best opinion, I think, when I first left, got the truck. I was excited for a while, but then after talking to a coworker and, you know, I kind of felt thoughts a little bit about my deal or my experience here in a sense, but it passed. I would say the least, it passed. Once again, you all want to thank you all for watching so much. I really do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, comment, share, like. Um, any ideas you think could do to make my truck better or improve upon it or do anything like that while I have the chance before we deploy, I would definitely appreciate it. Um, you know, it really means a lot just being on here. It's more of a mental break. It's like a stress reliever besides going to the gym. Once again, thanks a lot. Remember, always be safe, have fun, and be you.